I'm Jan Imes. I'm with Vitalik. I'm the education director. Um, I do all of the education for Vitalik. We have other uh, speakers. If you want to know if we're going to be having education in your part of the country, you can go on to our uh, website, www.vitalik.com. Look under news and events. If you like the idea of learning some great um, designs, then you can go into B Gallery. It's free if you are a business. It's locked so your customers can't see what we're teaching you, which is how to make some really great designs. Everything from beginner, intermediate to advanced, and, uh, and it, it shows you everything that we use in it step by step, step one, step two, step three. So it's like a lesson. You guys like things for free, right? You like free stuff? Yeah? How about some free education? How much do you pay to get here? How much is your hotel? All right, here's free education for you, a whole bunch of it, really good education too. It's free and it could be at midnight and if you want to in your pajamas. Go to metallic.com, take a look at B Gallery. You can download, uh, just, we have hundreds of recipes. So we're going to get started. Are you feeling creative? I was always the last one chosen. Ready? Careful, it's got a pin too. There we go. All right. I give away goodies for good questions or good uh, comments. We only have a half hour, so you have to keep them short, please. All right, let's get started. This class is going to be about how to do some really fast, fun, you know, cash and carry. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to put every balloon up while your customer's standing there. You can have th some things done ahead. How much is your helium costing you today? Ouch, right? So we have a lot of air-filled elements in these designs, so that means a little more what for you? Profit. Ooh, you're good. There's my, there's my first one. Ooh, it's a big shape. Yeah, that's that. There you go. Who's, who knows, who knows that you're in this business because you want to do Balloons because they're so pretty and they're fun and they make people smile. How many of you are in this business? You make people smile, they're pretty, you get, you get creative? None of you? I need to see your hand if you are. How many of you are in this business because you want to make more money? All right, all of you, great. Did you get something already? Never mind, my dear, I'm not going to do that to you. Okay, let's get started. Babies are a big, big business. Now, what you're going to find in the designs that I'm going to put together here for you is that we're going to do some things that are a little bit bigger, but there's uh, components in it. You don't have to do the whole thing. So if you can sell them up, we love to do that, right? So if you can sell them up for this big guy, I'd like to do it, wouldn't you? We're going to add to it. We can sell just this or we can sell just the other component I'm going to put on here, but let's put it together for you real quickly. I have some little fun things that I've blown up here. You know how inexpensive little five inch balloons are? They are so inexpensive, we could, to ourselves, we can call them cheap. We're talking pennies, just pennies. But we're gonna create a look that your, com uh, your competition is not gonna be able to compare you to. How many people come into your shop and say, how much are your balloons? And you give them a price for a latex balloon and they say, oh, I can get that for 10 cents cheaper down the street. Don't you hate that? I hate that. So what we're doing is we're creating designs that are, could be considered signature designs for you. This could go, we're doing a baby. You'll see, we could change this to a variety of other designs. And what you're doing is creating something, they'll go in and say, how much is that when we get it done? You give them a price, they'll go down the street and they'll say, how much is that? It's like got little balloons, it's got big, it's sparkly, and they'll go, I don't know, you know? So they can't really compare you, which is nice. Okay, we have, we're gonna do a, a little baby design here. We have something new that we've created for you, which is called designer balloons. Now I went ahead and put Linkaloon. You all know Linkaloon? Can you tell them from the Midwest, y'all? I, I fit in right down here at Houston. Um, we have put uh, Linkaloons on here. These come packaged so that you don't have to think about what colors go together. We do it for you. So what I'm going to do is take this Linkaloon. I put ultra high float in it. And I'm going to tie it right onto the top. And then I have little collars. Everybody know how to make a cluster of four? If you don't, 
put your hand up. I'll give you a one-on-one -on -one lesson back at the booth. Come up and see me at Metallic's booth. It's, it's the one with all the balloons in it, okay? <laughs> it's the one with the prettiest balloons in it. All right, and we're just gonna put this right on as a little collar. And I love ribbon. Now I like the big wide ribbon. I like some of the ribbons that have uh, a variety of, of colors in them, like the rainbow. This looks fantastic. And I love to be generous with my ribbon. This is the cheapest way for you to look more expensive, is to use your curling ribbon. Has anybody ever figured out how much a yard of curling ribbon is, the shorter? This is twice as much. It's not even a quarter of a penny to do a yard of regular curling ribbon. So you're not spending much. So why not be generous and make your, your designs look really terrific? Okay, and we are gonna add just a little place here where we can tie to. I'm using some clear tape uh, that's pretty sturdy. And I take a little piece of 260. I like to put this on before I inflate it, but it takes too long to inflate, and this is a pretty short program. So we're gonna put this right here in the back. Now, other than the balloon, you really can't see it. I'm gonna go to the other side too so that it's nice and secure. There's actually a product that I love a lot, and I used the last of them yesterday. It's called Click Click, and it's adhesive tabs that are so strong. So I could use one. Here I'm gonna use two pieces of tape just to make sure. Okay. All right. Do you like this look? Isn't that fun? And the holographic is absolutely the look. Okay. And we're just gonna tie this right up here. with the 260. And then we're just gonna make a little half bow. This is a half bow, that's a half bow. I called it a half bow for the longest time, but it sounded like I was cheating my customer out of half of their bow. So I gave it another name. It's a Dior bow, okay? That means nothing, nothing, nothing. But, uh, but it's a fancy name. They don't even know what it is, but they go, oh yeah, I want a Dior bow for sure. Okay, and we're just gonna curl this up a little bit. A little efficiency tip that I like to use is I don't bother to open my scissors. For one thing, it can cut the ribbon. And another thing is it can give you like a little tight noodle that really doesn't look very nice. So I like to leave my, my little Dior bows uh, with some nice streamers down here too that are gently, gently curled. If you get it too tight, and that is not, we're just looking, we're just looking for a soft, gentle tendril that's hanging down. You can always go backwards on it, and it'll un, un, uh, uh, uncurl it just a teeny bit. Now, we don't want just this down here at the bottom. I've got kind of a nifty little trick to show you. Do you guys do little stacks of clusters that you put on the bottom? Oh, I love these for bases. These are fantastic. You hide a weight under it, you know? How much did that cost? You know but it looks like something kind of big. Well, a lot of people will use clusters, but they also have kind of a hard time getting that weight underneath to lay, you know, sometimes it's, it's here and so it'll kind of tip. So a little trick is, you'll be able to notice because I've done a smaller one, I'm just simply pushing this down in between each one of the big balloons. And now what I've got is a cluster and look how much space I've got to hide that weight underneath here now. So I'm gonna be able to, I left some stretch on here, be able to bring his little foot on a 260 down in here and wrap it in. Really don't even have to tie it. The latex really sticks to itself. And now what I've got is a hidden weight down here that's not going to be uh, tipping my, my design. So, let me get his foot up here. There we go. Now, is that something amazing to take in to somebody who's having a shower? Do I need a whole lot more balloons on that? No, I don't. This is a giant statement. You come in and the mother-in-law is gonna go, I have to outdo them now, you know, because they've come up with this fantastic thing. 
This has an extremely high perceived value. The actual cost are fairly low cost elements when you think about the command that you can get for this. You got power already. Did you get power? Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't turn it on yet. Okay. Do you have I do. Thank you. Okay. No, thanks for your help. Okay. Another little doodad that you can add if you would like to. It's a 160. This is like, it's like under a dime. It's like, I don't know, five, six cents at the most. Tuck this in. Now you've got something that's even jazzier. You want it on? We'll just wrap it in, okay? If you want to get a picture of that with on there, we'll do that at the end. This half hour, I have to talk pretty fast. Okay, you want to see some more? All right. <clears throat> Three foot balloons. Anybody have any questions on that one, by the way? I got a prize if you do. No? All right, I got a couple of things to throw out anyway. Can, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was the last one chosen on the softball team every year. It was horrible, embarrassing, still is. Okay, we're going to build another big, big piece. We have some air that we're putting together uh, on this design. Okay, let me get my, this apart. Okay, they looked alike, but one was helium. I wasn't sure which was which. Okay, Lincoln, love Lincoln. I would like to show you very quickly how to do the perfect Lincoln knot so that your work looks its very, very best. This is not the one I usually use, can you tell? First one, we're going to tie into a knot, okay? Our next one, this could be helium, this could be air. The next one, I'm going to hold with both hands, and it's going to be almost like I'm pushing my thumbs or pointing them out. And I'm going to put one over the other. Now you might notice that I, oops, I almost did that wrong. You didn't take a picture of me doing it wrong, did you? <laughs> I'm supposed to have a tip and a neck. I've also got a tip and a neck here. So I'm going to point my, th my thumbs this way, and I'm going to be the boss of my balloons. Look how I'm pulling that tight against the other one. One, two, and then tie it on top. I'm going to do it one more time for you. I do a darn good knot if I say so myself. If I have way too much space, it's all, you can see a whole bunch of, of uh, neck hanging there and it, it's kind of loosey-goosey. So what we want to do is we want to add one more. Again, I don't do this every time. I don't think about it anymore. What I do is just come around, one, two, tie it on top. That's it. Okay? It's super, super easy to use Lincoln. If I do them with helium, I can make fabulous arches like we have back here in the back. We're going to do a column now that's partly air and partly helium. Okay. All right, we've got Lincoln, and I've got a big three foot. Love the price I can get for a three foot balloon. The, the key is have confidence that you can charge a whole bunch for this thing. I started in this business, oh gosh, I'm almost, I ha almost hate to tell you how long ago, 1981. It was before high float. So let me tell you, it, I've learned a lot of things along the way. And I did three foot balloons at Valentine's Day. And back in 81, 82, 83, I was getting, uh, I was getting $25 for them. And then I got more money for the delivery. I got more money for the plush or the candy or whatever I put on the bottom. And if they want it personalized, I got another $5. And you wouldn't believe it. I mean, it's $40, $45, boom, like that, just in no time. That was for 
a three-foot balloon on the top and ribbon. I used wider ribbon instead of curling ribbon because it looks like more. You know now I didn't spend very much. And I put cellophane collars. I call them frou-frous. Again, they don't know what it is, but they want frou-frous. And I would put frou-frous on the neck. And I would get $25 for that easily. You probably could get a lot more of that today, especially in a really large city. But I was competing with a, a supermarket. Do I have any supermarkets in here? Good, let's talk about them. I was competing with supermarkets. Do you know what they're selling for? I'll give you a prize if you can guess. How much were they selling their three-foot balloons for? They were on curling ribbon. They didn't have collars. What do you think they were selling them for? Talk loud. 35? No. $7.99. They weren't making any money. They weren't making a penny. And furthermore, they were going down. They weren't done well. They just had, they didn't curl their ribbon. You know, it was just the silliest thing ever. But I had people that came back to me year after year because I made mine look pretty with very, very little effort. Okay, so we've just put some clusters here. And now we're going to add little collars to pick up that same color on the top. Okay. We always wrap them in place. And you're going to come up and have a lesson on duplets, right? Okay. Oh, good. I'll help you carry some of this. If you'll help me carry some of the stuff back to the booth, I'll give you a big lesson. How's that? Okay, now that doesn't look too good, but I need this stretchy, stretchy here because I have two collars. <laughs> okay, here's one of them. Oh, I love it when this happens. I have white collars with high float in them someplace here. Let me look. Okay, this is almost like a gimmick to get you back to my booth. It's probably probably in the booth. So <laughs> we're just going to put one on, and you come up, and I'll have the white one on up there, okay? I'm with Vitalik. That's what you get when you start moving stuff in and you're missing a component. Okay, we'll put this guy right on top. And I like to wrap it right onto the foil. And I'm kind of holding this because I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure on this. And I really want to make sure I don't lose my big balloon on the top. Get over here, you. Sorry for the noise, audiovisual man. There we go. All right. And then we'd want to put one more here. Now, we actually have, if you come up to the booth, we have damask in Lincoln now, which is really, really beautiful. All right, we're just going to put one more little collar on here. All right, here we go. You know how long this will last? Amazing amount of time. If you want to do a couple of other little touches, you can do like a fuchsia bow here on this side, another one at the bottom. But do I need it? No. This is going to last and last. This has ultra high float in it. Uh, if you do two of these sets, this can all be air filled from here down. Never, never, never put helium into your little five inch balloons. They don't float for any time at all and then they shrink down almost immediately. So, all right. I did. Anything that's helium, I put high float in. Okay, you ready for another? You guys want to get silly? I have a silly one. It's actually very pretty, but I have a silly technique. You know what I'm missing, Nick? Don't video this and show my boss, okay? I'm missing a balloon straw. I set it out and it must not have gotten the box. Just a balloon straw. That'd be great. Okay. All right, we're going to do the silly one in just a minute. We're going to do another one instead. This is big business right here. Over the hill. I used to think that was funny. All right, we're, these are the Mighty Bright, by the way. 
These are mighty bright, these are mighty bright. Uh, those are designer balloons. The mighty bright, I love this, are non-conductive. So they're not made of foil. They are amazing. They're a teeny bit bigger, so we're going to get a really good float time. And the color, you have to admit, this color is fantastic, just really incredible. And I'm using, again, just pennies to make these look a little jazzier. Instead of just the, the uh, message balloons on a ribbon, instead, I'm jazzing them up just a tiny bit. I've got all this pretty bright confetti and so forth, so why not, right? Okay. And I'm going to tie this at the bottom. Again, we're going to put a little tape on here and a little bit of a 260. And you really are not going to see the tape, or the 260 for that matter. Thank you. I couldn't get silly without it. Thank you very much, Nick. Okay. All right. Now, I need a volunteer, and I'm going to give the biggest prize to whoever volunteers for me. And frankly, I, I'm sorry, guys, but I'd like a lady who has kind of a small wrist. Um, <laughs> if you please. Who wants to volunteer? Oh, good. Come on up here with me, if you would, please. What's your name? Come on up here. All right. Now, uh, a lot of you have, oh, you have your little dog with you. Oh, no, that's fine. A lot of you have um, the inflators that are strong. Anybody have Conwin equipment like uh, dual split second sizer? Oh, good girl. Precision Air, you can, you can easily do those uh, with, with precision equipment. But if you don't have precision equipment, I'm going to show you how you can do it the cheapest way possible. And I am right-handed, so I'm going to step over here, and I'm going to use this wrist here. Can you take that off for me? You can do it with a teeny watch, but that's a, a good size one. You're just going to pinch that, and you are not going to let go, okay? Can you guys see okay? Hang on. There we go. And what I'm doing is I'm stretching it, and I'm making sure I don't have any wrinkles in the balloon. Okay? Doesn't hurt, though, does it? It's not even as bad as, like, blood pressure. Okay. Now, this is a teeny little balloon, so I kind of have to stretch it onto my pump. There we go. If it's creeping up, take your other hand and just push it back down. Okay. And you can let go. Beautiful. You've got the perfect wrist for this. Just one second. There is one other thing that you can do with this, which is real cute. You guys do kids' parties. <laughs> Is she cute or what? <laughs> Thank you very Thank you. much. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, I get your prize. Oh. Let me give it to you. I have got one of the storks for you. It's a girl. You. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, so we're going to prepare the bottom. I love using uh, a base like this because it's, it's a balloon, but it has... It just has air in it, so it's super simple. Uh, or you can do helium. For speed's sake, I did helium this time, you can tell. But you, but you can have enough lift here that you can do air, so it's going to be less expensive. And I have a little cluster to put on the base. We're just kind of picking up some of the colors. Instead of all black, we're picking up some of the colors that we have in the confetti. Okay, there's my weight. Okay. And the way I put these on here is I kind of did some little bubbles. I do like this one. I did one, two, three, and then I'm just going to tie it on the neck. And it's going to hold on nice and tight. Once again, you can tie it, or if you prefer, you can just wrap that little neck around several times, and it's not going to come loose. Do I have any twisters in the room? Those twisters, are, are you? Excellent. I should have had you come up here and do this for me. And then we're just going to take the balloon and let it kind of wrap around our strings, okay? Take 
this off and adjust them. There we go. How's that? Does that look okay from out there? Good. Okay, once again, I'm using that little bit of 260. Tie it nice and snug and then snip off the excess. And we're just going to make a little half bow. So we've got some tendrils that cover up any little bit of where it is tied on. There we go. Let me pull that tighter. Oh, let me try it again. Okay, here we go. Snug. There we go. All right. Simple, cute. If we want to add another little pizzazz to it, because we have the pink here and it would really be nice, although it's reflected in the balloons themselves, it would be nice to do a little duplet. And we're just going to add it in down here and kind of be playful, sticking out the sides. Just wrap it in. And you can pull them out. You can actually take a little bit of glue dot or something. One high, one low is a, is a really nice look. You can turn them so that, there we go. And this one I'm going to have to beat into submission, I can see. Get on there, you. There we go. So now what we've got is just a little playfulness up here at the top. It's kind of curving and coming off, so you've got something that sits on the table. So this is a little bit bigger weight than usual. Now, are you ready to get silly? Okay, I do have that silly one for you. You might have noticed that I've got a little bit bigger weight at the bottom, so I was talking about how sometimes they don't sit perfectly straight. This is a great way for us to show you what to do with uh, uh, a weight at the bottom if it's a balloon. Okay. I love this one. Little girls and big girls love this one. This is the Mighty Bright with a flower on it. Well, I just put that on there so well, now I can't get it off. Finally. Okay, so we have a little weight here and a cluster of five instead of four. Four is real typical. Actually, I can probably give you a verbal right here. This is a duplet. You take another duplet. This is not because it's got three and you twist them together, then you have a cluster of four, like this little yellow one here. If you want to make a cluster of five, three and two, and then put them together. It's easier than trying to tie them all in separately. Okay, we're going to set this aside for just a moment. Because we've got some little flowers here, and this is going to be maybe for a little three-year-old, I've got one of our big pink megaloons. These are our newest megaloons. Our megaloons come in 40 inches, 14 inches, and seven inches. And the big ones, of course, you can put helium in them and they float, or you can do air filled and hang them. There's a, a system called Click Click, which is magnets that you can attach to the ceiling and do some incredible long chains. You can spell out things, you can put numbers up. Uh, so the megalins are fantastic. And everybody up to a certain age likes to see how old they are. So we're going to pull this one down. Oops. There we go. All right, what I'm doing is I'm stacking my balloons. So I'm going to pull these against my hand so that they're all on the same level. They look level. And then I'm going to take my top balloon and pull it down into the design. If I get too far into it, it pushes the balloons out of the way. If I pull it up too far, I have negative space. I want them just to kiss. I just want them to barely, barely, barely smooch just a little bit. So it's nestled right there in the middle. I love this look a lot. Okay. And we're going to have some kind of long strings because I'm going to do something fun here with this one. We're going to put it on a weight. Okay. And I put the 
these together too so that I wouldn't lose them coming down here. And I might have been too efficient. Okay, I was too efficient. Let me get it undone. Okay. I am sorry to do this to you. Here we go. All right. Now, for our base, I've got this weight on the bottom, but if I want to just completely not even try to mess with the weight, here's what I'm going to do. How's that look? No? Okay. Now, I want to swear you all to secrecy. Are you willing? Let me see your hand. Okay. This has something in it. You can see it's a little bit heavy, right? Now, there is a nicer way to do this, but I don't always carry a turkey baster with me when I teach classes. So a turkey baster works perfect. Uh, you simply get some water in there, tip it this way, put it into the valve, and dribble the water down in there. Uh, you have to puff it up just a teeny bit first, however, so that the water will go down in there. Now, if you, in a pinch, don't have that, Don't tell. <laughs> Don't film. <laughs> okay. Now look. I don't have any water coming out of there. It's not going to leak. Isn't that amazing? Now we're going to go ahead and pump it up. put cold water in it, uh, it's going to shrink up a teeny bit until the, the water uh, turns into the, the room temperature. So keep that in mind. It doesn't hurt it a bit. All right. So I have water in here. I could hold down an amazing amount of lift, even with latex balloons, by using this, even a nine inch balloon. Do you guys do the little nine inch balloons, then you heat seal them? You can do that with a nine inch balloon heat seal. It's, you're not going to electrocute yourself, I promise. It's amazing. It's great. Okay. All right. This is for a prize. How do I, how do I do that thing again? How do I do that? Push it through, you get a prize. And what this is doing, I don't even need to hide the weight here, but I'm going to lift it up just a teeny bit more. Visually, this just adds a little bit of oomph to it. I'm going to tie on a balloon to the neck. Now, how many of you know if you tie a ribbon all the way up here that it kind of scrunches and that little valve that's inside, they say it could leak a little. So a lot of people tie only down here. But you noticed I didn't do that up here? Here's what I did do to them is here's my valve. I folded it in half, and I folded it in half again, and then turned it up. Now, it's not scrunched. It's folded. It's still flat inside. It's just that it's folded. And that looks a little bit tidier than those long necks that are sticking down, OK? All right, and we're just going to place this right on top. Bring that down inside. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to put this on the top. Where's my tape? Here it is, hidden. Okay, again, I, the tape works okay, but I actually prefer the click-click uh, adhesive tabs because they're incredibly strong. And my tape is like it always does, right? Good grief. Come on, you. Here it is.
All right, if I run over in my class time, it's because the darn tape wasn't behaving. Here we go. Okay, we need a little bit of 160. And I got a little lift here because I have a few more balloons, so I'm actually going to use two pieces of my clear packing tape. Um, and this holds quite well. If you get it too, 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 um, too much lift, you definitely want to switch to the professional products. Okay, I don't need that whole thing, so I'm going to cut it off. And now we'll just take this right here and tie it to our base. Now, so see, we could actually put uh, a few balloons down here. We wouldn't have to do this, but I think it's just fun to see all the possibilities. You, if you can sell up, why not sell up, right? Didn't know my own strength here. Okay. Now, that's pretty long. I would call that negative space. But we're going to add something kind of cute to it that I think you'll like. So I'm going to tie it on. Nice and tight. Okay, and I know this sounds silly that we're putting yellow in there, but if you look, there's some little yellow flowers, and this is going to be better than just a plain bow. And then what we'll do, snip these off a little, and I'm keeping my scissors closed because I'm looking for kind of a nice little soft tendril. we go. Okay, so we just kind of have a little bit of, of ribbon that's kind of twinkling down. Now, I'm going to set this aside for just a second because we have flowers on here. We're going to take our cluster of five, we're going to lay it flat, and we're going to push a little bitty duplet down in the center. Isn't that cute? And I don't want it to get loose, so I'm going to wrap it around the middle. All right, let's finish this one off here. We're going to do is bring this up here and bring our ribbons up together. And we're just simply going to tie this in a little bit, about halfway. Have this come right up out of the center. So we've got like a now that's sitting on our design. So it's another one of those little cute enhancements that doesn't cost very much for you to add. Uh, sometimes I'll actually take a glue dot uh, or a low temperature glue gun so that I keep it positioned right here at the top and down here at the bottom. Actually, it's going to be easy enough to do that with my tape just in one spot, and it's not going to show. My mother would say, quit doing that with your teeth. Small. All right. You like the ideas? Think they're fun? Can you sell some of this? Yeah? How much can you get for it? If you and your um, competitor was selling it, would it be a good idea to sell it for just a little bit less? If you call up your competitor and say, uh, my Aunt Tilda is in the hospital and I'd like to have a bouquet of the uh, 10 foil balloons, what do you charge for that? Then if you're going to send 10 balloons, are you going to just come down a teeny bit off from that price? Is that a good way to do it? Do you know if they're making a profit or not? It's really important for you to know the cost of, I'm going to give out prizes for these answers, by the way. It's really important to know the cost of the elements. What else? What else do you need to know? Time. Who said time? Would you come up and be my helper? I'll give you a prize if you will. Okay, what else? Oh, you my helper. Oh, oh well, I, 
don't know, you know, I didn't even hear it coming from there. That's okay, I need you to be my helper, if you will. Take care of my stuff. Come on up here with me. Okay. Time. What else? The product. I get the prize for that. What else, what else do you have to know? Are you delivering it, or uh, are they picking it up? Pick one. Delivery. Delivering? Okay. So, is that, is that free delivery? So what are you spending to make the delivery? Gas. Okay. What else? That you, you have an employee that you have to send out to do that probably. Or yourself. Do you want to pay yourself? Yes, you do, right? You can, you can picture here. Okay. Um, what else, what else comes in mind when you're talking about your business? What other things are you paying so you can be in business? Utility. Oh, she's good. Are you together? Okay. <laughs> okay. What else? I'm looking for one. One. Starts with an I. Rent. Okay. Rent. What else? Ah, oh, good girl. You get... You get a big three, okay? I hope you guys had fun in the class. I did. You were a quiet but a very nice audience. Um, the first uh, four people to stand up, you get the rest of the prizes. Here you go. Oh, 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 oh. Would you pass that back? All right, thank you guys very much. I'm with Vitalik. Sorry. That's okay. I'd like to have a helper up here. Okay. Uh, I'm with Vitalik. If you'll come by the booth, we have some really great things. We'd love to register for free. We do not bug you with uh, sending you tons of emails, you know, every week. But uh, we will let you know when there's education in your area. We will let you know when there's more of those recipes for designs just like this. If you liked it, come on by and see us. We'll get you registered. Thank you so much. And look for us on Facebook. Talik has a Facebook page now, too. Thank you.